everyone welcome back to cyber security tv uh, so today we are going to talk about the evasion technique and or the bypass technique so why are we talking about so much about the bypass and uh, like you know evasion and and regex and etc so if you if you uh, understand like you know how the security uh, or uh, or input validation works it's more of like you know uh, uh, police and and police and robbers so uh, for example robbers will try to find a new way to exploit something and then once they use it it becomes public now it has become public so everyone knows about it everyone would like you know patch it or defend it uh, that's where police or cops would come in and they, they will defend against those attack now the job of the robbers is to find a new technique so that's what uh, we are into the this game right uh, we have previously talked a lot about the regex validation uh, uh, as i said like regex is going to be uh, like you know very much useful if you if you understand it if you know uh, how to read it how to write it uh, would be much much better so uh, usually in the applications you would see that uh, regex validation uh, some libraries would help them prevent against like you know uh, some basic uh, payloads so for example if the attacker is using maybe eval uh, alert document at cookie a prompt so these are some common uh, payloads that we use during exploitation of the cross site scripting however uh, in this modern world that's not going to happen because of course you have so many defense and and so many uh, rules that already uh, protecting that kind of application request so what do we do now uh, suppose we have to steal a cookie uh, from the application and suppose the application cookie does not have http only flag then it becomes very easy right we just put this location.href uh, then we put uh, like you know whatever the uh, domain of the application is and then we use the document dot cookie I think that's that's like you know pretty straightforward on how we do it however as we said like the regex validation our, our filtering system would obviously block document dot cookie so now how do we do that the one way to one way to bypass this or or has been used previously as well is using the base 64 encoding now here uh, this is like you know uh, you are going to use eval uh, everyone knows what the eval is so I'm not going to repeat it but then we are using a to b and then this is the uh, base 64 encoded uh, value so here you can see you you use this location to href and then you put in the uh, like you know uh, burp suite for decoding there are a lot of online software as well for encoding and decoding for the base 64 so you put that information here you encode with the base 64 and then you put it here and the a to b function is actually converting encoded base 64 encoded uh, string to the ascii so that's why we are using uh, like you know a to b function however you would still encounter one more issue here because if you see we are using eval and now eval is also very dangerous and I don't think so very few applications uh, or very few systems will not have filter against the eval right so that's our another issue okay how do we go and bypass that so for that we will have to use other functions we have to be maybe a bit creative and try to use other functions which are uh, which are not blacklisted or which are not filtered uh, by the regex so the first we are going to use is set timeout uh, so timeout function is like you know uh, it will be called after a few milliseconds so you can set whatever value that is and the code here is the actual base64 encoded code uh, we used uh, here so you can use the same code uh, but instead of uh, using uh, like eval we are using set timeout uh, the second method you can try is the set interval uh, so that's the method which is called at specified interval uh, which is like you know uh, obviously uh, as it sounds uh, set immediate uh, is of course as it sounds it's going to break whatever current operation which is ongoing and it will start calling this code whichever you define here a uh, function is like basic JavaScript function uh, which has bunch of line and bunch of code in that uh, so it like you know kind of procedure uh, so the same thing here uh, in the input uh, so every function need to have input and then like you know some procedure that it follows uh, using the input 
so that is where we are going to upload our code and then probably uh, do some like you know uh, functioning within the function but yeah that's these are some of the options uh, that you can try uh, to bypass that eval function so just to kind of summarize uh, let's say you want to uh, do the cross-site scripting uh, and and one of the bypass technique is using base 64 of course this is not the only one we are going to learn many many more in the future uh, lessons so uh, but yeah i would really need your help and and please comment it uh, what kind of like you know uh, topics that you are interested in because the more uh, feedback i get i can able to decide okay which way to go uh, what is the like you know what do you guys are interested in so based on that i can plan it out but yeah to summarize we uh, regex validation so you you should learn about regex at least start like you know a little bit of regex basic regex uh, functions and and their keywords then uh, some of the basic filters how to bypass is using the base 64 and coding decoding is very simple there are online uh, uh, tutorials out there uh, you use a to b to encode and decode which would work on most of the applications and instead of eval you use this set of functions so i think that's all uh, from this episode uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to uh, put, put it in the comment uh, please hit the thumbs up uh, so i know that you guys like this kind of videos and uh, we'll see you on next Monday. Bye.